Hey, this is Greg with MuddingCowBells.com. Thanks for watching this brief little video. I wanted to walk through what I learned uh, about the SRAM Avid Shorty Ultimate Brakes, which we are using uh, this year for the Boulder Cycle Sport team, um, uh, mainly around how it completely resolved uh, the brake chattering problems that I have been complaining about for quite some time now on, the, on my blog, on the Twitter sphere, etc. So let me kind of walk you through um, some things that I've learned and hopefully it'll help you too. Um, number one, um, if you haven't seen the SRAM uh, shorties, they're absolutely sick. They're, the genius is in their ability to be set up unbelievably easy. So the first thing that you'll see is uh, a dynamic spring tensioner, which doesn't necessarily need to be in a pinhole. And, and you know, the classic three pinhole thing where you put it on the bottom one and it's tighter. You have infinite range of adjustment. Um, it's got the quick release system like all good uh, modern cantilever brake systems should have. But here's where we dive into the details of what solved the problem. Uh, the most important aspect is right here. And this particular setup that they have going on um, has a beveled edge, uh, which enables the pad to be um, towed in and towed out in many, many different levels. But let me show you kind of specifically what I did. Um, in this case, I'm using FSA carbon wheels uh, with Swiss stop yellow compound pads. As you all know, there's plenty of, of pad tire combinations that you guys are, or I should say wheel combinations that you guys are comfortable with. This is just one combination that I've been using for years. Other pads work great too, but this is what I use. Um, so what I did was as follows. Um, I took... Uh, a business card and towed in and the business card basically was used like this as you if I turn the wheel you can see this a little better you can see just how far things are towed in as you squeeze the brake however you want to get the toe in to be just about um, enough for the back end of the pad to allow a business card to slip in without hitting anything the only the front end right here should be touching the pad and once you increase power to the brakes like it is now then then the business card will stay if you let it go the business card will fall obviously um, but note that that's about I just want to show you how much toe in that I put it wasn't unbelievably radically you know towed in just enough to slip in a business card and a lot of that um, sort of helped smooth out um, the, the choppiness, if there is no choppiness as you'll see in the other video at all anymore, but what that basically did was stop everything, including this cable from vibrating, which is a, a huge cause for sending the vibration forces here and then causing the break. Yeah, you can't really see this with the naked eye, but to chop, 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 and then the whole fork bends back and forth and back and forth. You can uh, read Leonard Zinn's very comprehensive article on brake chatter on velonews.com. But uh, in any event, I have had great success um, hooking these things up. It took me five minutes to set up, and I have zero brake chatter with this typically uh, volatile combination, carbon rims and pads. Um, so that's it. I hope that this was somewhat helpful.